There are many plants and foods that are either unsuitable or poisonous for your guinea pigs. I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles and I'm going to tell you about some of the foods you shouldn't feed your guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are herbivores, meaning they eat a plant-based diet. In the wild, a guinea pig will forage for their food, munching on grass, herbs and weeds, as well as fruits and vegetables. However, not all plants and weeds are good for your guinea pigs, and some are extremely poisonous to them. This is part one and in this video we'll be discussing poisonous plants, weeds and a couple of more surprising foods at the end of the video. We have a second video coming in a few days time about human foods your piggies can't eat. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you're notified of the next video in this series. Daisies and buttercups are poisonous to guinea pigs and so is a yellow flower similar to the buttercup called the celandine. These flowers can be found abundantly amongst the grass during spring and summer. This means you need to be extra cautious when picking grass so you don't mistakenly pick these flowers or the leaves or stems of the plants. Grass that has been mown is not safe for guinea pigs. There are several reasons for this. Firstly, if you have a petrol or diesel lawnmower, the grass will be polluted by the fumes, which could make your guinea pigs very ill. Secondly, it won't just be grass that is in the clippings, but it could be a toxic combination of various other plants, such as daisies, buttercups, and other small poisonous weeds that you may not even have noticed growing in your lawn. Another reason why grass clippings are extremely bad is fermentation. To begin with, grass clippings ferment very quickly. Then, because the grass is all chopped up, your guinea pig will eat a lot of it quickly. After this, it will continue to ferment in their gut and could cause bloat. Bloat can be fatal to a guinea pig if not treated urgently. If you've heard anyone say they fed grass clippings without any negative consequences, then they were very lucky. Your guinea pigs may not be so lucky, so make sure the grass you give them is always picked and not mown. Guinea pigs can eat young dock leaves, but they are not safe for guinea pigs to eat when they are seeding or after seeding. The leaves usually appear in spring, but they are high in oxalic acid, so dock leaves shouldn't be fed in large quantities anyway to guinea pigs. If you're at all unsure about whether they have seeded or not, it's best not to pick them at all. Rhubarb leaves and stalks, whether cultivated in your garden or found in the wild, are poisonous for guinea pigs. If you grow rhubarb in your garden, make sure you don't let your guinea pigs roam anywhere near it because if they eat this plant, it can make your guinea pig extremely sick and it could well be fatal. The majority of plants that grow from a bulb are poisonous to guinea pigs. This includes onion, garlic, spring onions, chives, leeks, shallots, daffodils, tulips, bluebells and many other bulb plants. It is safest to assume that any evergreen plant is going to be poisonous to your guinea pigs because most of them are. This includes plants such as ivy, boxwood, rhododendrons, laurel and bindweed. We'll show a more comprehensive list of plants, weeds and flowers that are poisonous at the end of this video, so keep watching. Guinea pigs have different dietary requirements to rabbits so although they are both small animals and their dried food may look similar, the ingredients are different. The main difference between rabbit food and guinea pig food is that vitamin C is added to guinea pig pellets because they can't make their own, whereas rabbits can. If they don't have enough of this vitamin, they can get scurvy and have other health issues. 
you shouldn't give your guinea pigs rabbit food and neither should they have any other food that is produced specifically for another animal, such as a cat, dog, hamster or any other pet. Some guinea pig treats have sugar, yoghurt, milk and seeds in them. Although they are sold for guinea pigs, they are not suitable, so you should avoid these. Some guinea pig food mixes may also contain unsuitable ingredients with artificial colours and flavourings, dried fruit and coloured pieces that are packed with sugar. When buying treats or food mixes for your guinea pigs, check the ingredients first. Coming up is a list of poisonous plants that you may find in your garden or when you're out foraging for them. It's important not to let your guinea pigs eat any kind of food, plant or weed that you haven't first checked is safe. Bear in mind that there may be plants that are not included on this list that are also poisonous, so please don't assume they are safe if they are not listed here. Also, make sure you watch part two where we discuss human foods that are not suitable for your guinea pigs. Many guinea piglers are finding our safe fruit and veg principles really useful. You can find a link to buy these in the description below.